you get one here and eventually we will like subscribe comment all that good stuff help promote and rank up my channel so she hulk episode 7 review spoilers i don't like this show deliver a message <laughs> shut it for those that like to say this show isn't made for you then who's it made for because you have a delusional drug problem women because you can still watch a show with a female lead and enjoy it. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Even, even with bad CGI, a, a show can still be enjoyable. But this one just isn't. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm just not interested. I hope you're rotten in hell, you loser! You suck! I feel like I should get paid to watch it. I, I can't believe they spent money where is the money? It's such an expensive thing to do with a character like She-Hulk. It's throwing away money. It, 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 it baffling. Hey Marvel, I have an idea for a superhero. It's me, and guess what? I have an infinity stone on the tip of my wiener. So, the only thing to spoil about this episode, She-Hulk goes out on a few dates, texting back and forth with the guy she met from the wedding last week. It's a very girly start. It, 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 very girly. And the music choices in here, uh, I personally find awful. Bad. Wasn't made for me. Um, And she sleeps with this guy, Josh. And thinks she's been ghosted as she obsesses over not getting a text message back. But the reality is Josh just stole her blood. He slept with her to get her guard down, steal her blood, clone her phone. And that's the only important thing that happens this whole episode. You could have uh, done that in five minutes. The rest of the episode is a complete waste of time. In fact... It opens, it shows this whole montage of them texting back and forth, going out on dates, her taking selfies of herself, I guess she's sending it to him, going throughout her day, they finally sleep together, and then boom, bam, he's gone, no response. Um, and it isn't until the very end of the episode they show what he did that night. And... Uh, uh, it's just a really waste. It's a waste of an episode. I mean, I'm sure this is relatable to a lot of women out there. I mean, I love Posse. Make that into a t-shirt. You done? There's only two episodes left. And what the hell has been accomplished? Anything. Another MCU Disney Plus show padded with filler and fluff until it crams everything impossible last minute for an unsatisfying, uneven payoff. Where there's all kinds of things that were included earlier, and you're like, why? Why wasn't that or this fleshed out? Why was that or this even included? <sighs> These MCU Disney Plus shows need to just stop happening because I think they're pissing away money or they need to really buckle down, stop spreading themselves so thin and focus on, on being precise and hitting all the beats necessary where it doesn't feel like it, it should have just been a two hour long movie. <laughs> If you want your sequel to become a franchise, never, ever. So the rest of the episode is spent at a therapeutic retreat with Emil Blonsky with cameos from Marvel Z-listers. And She-Hulk conf uh, confronts Wrecker. Wrecker is actually in this episode from the Wrecking Crew as part of this therapy group for soups. But she doesn't, like, press for, why did you attack me? Or, are you working for somebody? No. Water all under the bridge after a brief scuffle. All these men, except for Wrecker, in this therapy group, come off very feminine. Dude, could you be more gay? And 
The majority of the episode, like I said, is just a waste of time. Hopefully, the leader is behind all this set to return in Cap 4, which is supposed to have multiple Hulks in it, and maybe even S.H.I.E.L.D. because of her obsession in this show with Cap's ass. The Abomination is actually in league with him or not. The big draw for me and probably most people was Daredevil. Daredevil is going to be in this. Charlie Cox back as Daredevil. That's what most people are waiting for. And guess what? We still don't have it because they're probably saving it for the very last episode. Awful writing. Terrible direction. Terrible execution. These writers don't need to work for the MCU anymore. And when She-Hulk finally appears in the movies, I really hope it's good. I really hope it's good because... Somebody needs to do this character just us. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay awesome. Rock on. Follow me.